And once again, spawning at the top side, the Nederlandse speler, this Shaki. If that's not Dutch, nothing is. Who is he up against, Patrick? Um, he is up against Alien Invasion's Revenge down here in the lower position, spawning as the Blue Terran player. And, uh, well, after the first game, Shaq uh, may be feeling a little bit, uh, you know, um, I, I really feel that he was just trying out a build he's not entirely familiar with and he has not had too much practice with. So, you know, uh, he may just say to himself, if that were the case, he would just say to himself, well, I'm just going to play a build that I know back and forth, blind in my sleep right now, because the previous game was not really, you know, it, it wasn't that I screwed up, it was just that I was playing a build I haven't played that much, or a new strategy that I'm trying out. I'm not going to fool around right now, I'm going to play as solid as I can, and I'll win this. Yeah, he knows that... Uh... That revenge really does scout very well because I think that's one of the reasons he won last game because uh, yeah. the the SCV got in. He watched the army movement. He watched the Manisha core. He really got a good read on his opponent. Uh, Widow mines early on doing a lot of damage. Um, either Shark has to uh, deny scouting or he has to play a build where it doesn't matter if he gets scouted. It's just solid. So I would like him to go for just a macro game. Mm -hmm. um, I think in that position. He is an extremely talented player, so he should be able to uh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Revenge, and we could be in for a long one if that happens. Yeah, if it does, but... I mean, Shark's going for a double gas opening here, and... You know, yeah, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't mind a Stargate opening on this map with a proxied Stargate somewhere. Oh, that's okay. Or, or just an in-base Stargate in general, uh, I, I wouldn't mind that at all. Just skip the robo and go straight into storm. But also, Shark can this time for real. He can do the blink all in yep. on this map because this is a very good map to do it on. There's a huge cliff that you just cannot cover as a Terran player. Um, and, oh, look at this pylon in the back of Shark's main base. He'll probably wants to hide a tech there. And it's going to be going to be double reapers from uh, from revenge here. Double the scouting. Um, I mean, yeah. Shaq chose this map as losing the last game, so uh, revenge is going to know that he has a build planned out for this. And when you watch the map, like you said, you are going to think this could be a blink all in, even without scouting your opponent is Protoss. You you assume that that he could do a blink all in. Mm. Um, you know what? But you do remember what happened? Uh, what happened on Yonsu? When Shark opened with an aggressive push with the Mothership Core, Stalker, um, Zealot, Poke against the Double Reaper opening, against yeah. Ascending, that was the first match of, of the day. Yep. It was an insta loss, basically. Yeah, but he did it a little bit differently. He sent the Zealot first. Uh, well, actually, no, it's the same build. Yeah, Zealot, and then, yeah, I mean, this build actually got an instant win. Um, but I think the reaction from Revenge is already better because he's getting a bunker on the high ground. He's not putting the Reapers back, he's doing damage with the Reapers, he's already killed a worker. And um, he might actually cancel that command center, I think. Yeah, he'll probably end up ca cancelling it. I mean, he, did, he just does not have units right now to... Uh, no, but he's doing the adequate save. response, he's making a bunker and he's being safe yeah. at the top side. Yeah, he, he's not trying to like he wants to force his him. way uh, in, into finishing this command center, because he'll never get it. So, no. If it would have finished, he could have lifted it up. And the Reapers, they got... Uh, they got away! Three kills, they got three kills. They killed three workers. And they see that the expansion has started pretty late. So if he cancels his own base... No, he's gonna try to save it! But he has a lot more than our previous Terran player. And he's going yeah. to save it. He is. That was, that was a good save. That was a good save. And now with this many Marines, this uh, this Stalker will have to... Actually, the Mothership Corps will... Oh my god! And the Reapers goodness. join in and the Mothership Corps dies and the, the Zealot's gonna go down. They, he can't chase away from the Reapers. This is a brilliant response by Revenge. It looks like and Revenge. a very good exchange. Uh, I mean, Shaq, yeah. he's got these two Stalkers over here, but he lost a lot. He lost a Mothership Core, a Zealot. Uh, three Stalkers is a different story, but Shaq has to be careful. If he gets out of position even once, these Stalkers are going to die. Even he may, 
he may even lose one right here. He's gonna lose to the Reapers. The Reapers are faster than the Stalkers. Yeah. So when the Stalkers get really low HP, the Reapers can give the finishing blow. He's gonna chase him away and then, yeah, he's gonna stop at the rocks, exactly, because then he has high ground vision. And Nearly what do you perfect. know? Shaq going for the Stargate. Yep. I'm Don't starting forget, I'm though. starting to become really good at predicting players' movements. Hey, I should, maybe I should become a caster. <laughs> really? I don't know about that. <laughs> Who would want to listen to us talk? Really? I don't know. Maybe um, maybe I will bully some of my friends or my girlfriend into into listening to me. You're an awesome caster, Patrick. I'm glad you decided to do it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, nice block Reaper. there by Oh, look at this. So such a he cute move it. by Shark. He didn't see it. Nope. Oh, he scans. He's like, "Yep, there's something there, and there is." Still, yeah, he sees he sees the Stargate. He sees the two additional gateways. He's pulling back his Marines. Oracle in the main. The Oracle is yeah. The Oracle is already there, and there is nothing opposing the Oracle. He can actually. Oh no 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 no! Shock shock! No, don't do this. Shock! Come on. He's gonna lose it. Wow, he's not gonna lose it. Ten kills. Wow, shock! So Gosu. Second Oracle on the way, so he can harass both mineral lines. Uh, there is an engineering bay finishing, but only just now. And the overall, overall number of marines is 14. So actually, Revenge uh, can split his marines 7 by 7 into both his mineral lines, which is, I think, exactly what he's doing to be safe versus all those oracles. And yeah, Shaq, this harassment is pretty much over, loses one over oracle uh, as a result. And uh, from this point on, it's going to be just revelation. I kills not work out. It's um, no with the other oracle though. Uh, it's uh, it's definitely paid off for himself though. I mean the oracles. At, I mean look at the look at the probe difference. Yeah, it's really good. He did the damage he needed to do. Um, I don't f feel like he was that far behind after the beginning, but he was slightly behind. Yeah, and now yeah. he's definitely ahead. So really good place from uh, from Shaq. The oracles are still going to be useful for intel. And they actually still, if you mix them up with your army, it's pretty good. But he might actually get more. Yeah, he's gonna get more kills with that new oracle in the mineral line. Nice. Actually, touches the turret. Oh. Oh Shark. wow! Or Gets past. Uh, and Shaq is following this up exactly as I thought he would. Skipping the robo, goes into plus one upgrade uh, for armor. Gets charge. Gets storm. Will get a third base, and then. Towards the end of the game, we'll try and transition into Colossus. Uh, we have seen this before, and you know, one of the players that has had a high success rate with this build is uh, Classic in Pro League. He's been using this a lot, and I really like the build because it lets you skip the Robo altogether, and that way you're not as vulnerable to uh, hard counters by Vikings, and you still get the scouting and you still get the detection. You just have to be more careful uh, about about your de detecting unit because it's not invisible. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, which is a problem the other races have as well, so it's it's acceptable. Huh. Another scan goes off in the main base though, he sees a lot with this. This he is going to be the... so close with the rocks. I mean, Shaq, oh, look at this timing there. So he cute. needs to buy time for the storm to finish, he still has a minute to go, that's uh, without Corner Boost. But on the other side, uh, the 10 seconds he's going to get for this are going to finish the combat shield, so that's yeah. actually pretty big. The Oracle flies in, doesn't give a revelation. Yeah, Is he going to do damage? He did not get this, sniped. Uh, Revenge stamps part of his marines there and tries to snipe that off. He doesn't know if the storm is up or not, though. So nah, he's he going knows. to be really careful moving up this map. He stims for a second time. Uh, but he, he's going to cut off guard right now because storm has finished now, Patrick. Yeah, right now it's finished, but uh, but he didn't know before. And oh, this double drop could actually do, do a lot, lot of damage. damage. Look, at the, look at the army movement from Shaq. He's moving all the oh, he's moving all the wrong way. And there is one high templar, but the medevacs don't have no energy, so it's not gonna matter that much. Storm if he's goes down, and he he needs That's a, a warp in right now. He needs a warp in. The mothership core goes down as well, but not before throwing. Oh, he actually survives and did throw down photon overcharge at the third base. The lower part of the army is going to move into the third base as well. It's going to be not as cost effective with that overcharge on. And another overcharge in the main base. This is this is why I always say this map is insanely good in any matchup for defensive play. Yep, uh, definitely. And, uh, because take a yeah. look, these two overcharges from the third and main of the Protoss cover everything on this side of the map. 
Yeah, and they actually killed quite quite a lot. I think they both killed like three marines, which is really good. Yeah. There's gonna be another drop in the natural though. Uh, could do some damage. The army is slightly out of position. Yeah, Shaq is completely unaware of this, only now pulling his uh, units back. Kill the Templar, guys. Oh, this is going to be huge. Yeah, but one thing though, if he thinks that Colossus is real, that could prompt uh, a wrong response. Hmm. Well, there is a robo somewhere, I, I, I think. Oh, he's gonna see it right now. He actually, I think he scammed yeah. to see if it was real. Yeah. That happened to me once or twice that I saw an army and I was like, oh, oh no, he's making Colossus. And then I made a lot of Vikings and I was like, where are the Colossus? <laughs> you know, this is the interesting part. The army supplies are kind of even. Yeah. Shock is ahead in, in economy. And I think a, Revenge, I mean, if he doesn't get I... a good trade going here, he'll have to... Oh my god. Have an observer yet. It's gonna the worst me. storms ever for Shock, damaging his zealots. Yeah, the mines add up to the damage as well. But a drop is being cleaned up at the natural base. The problem in the, at the front is that Chuck is all out of Storm's uh, revenge, dodging them like a boss, and he can't oh, warp in any more Templars. It kills so much. Yeah, that was a good one, but those are Marauders, keep in mind. Yep. The weather is not too good in Shark's base. Uh, two Marauders actually did finish off a lot of this is going to be This is going to be so close again. Remember the the fights we had on Frost? This is going to be such a close engagement here once again for Shark. Revenge does not have a third base. He's not continuing with, uh, with his upgrades. He's just on plus one. He's going to be hammering this in, trying to bring Shark down. Shaq's one saving grace is the insane economy he has, but will the multitasking of revenge be too much for him? He lost another Templar in the main base. There is a drop live in his main yeah, while it, another push towards the third is going on. It's like a different story here because this time around it's Shaq holding on and if he holds this he's going to win. Yeah. But the, the, the drop in the main actually did quite a lot of damage. 23 probes have been killed, and Shaq is still on 64. The reason I think that Shaq's going to win this quite easily is because the upgrade just finished. He's going to have 2-1 yeah. against 1-0, and that's not an ideal situation, especially not when you're trying to hammer yourself in against Storm. Yeah, with that plus 2 armor, those zealots become almost yeah. unkillable with, when you have plus 1 attack only on your marines. Not that there are very many marines for uh, revenge to begin with. And look at this, the Oracle... Well, it tries to... It's tried to reveal the army, kind of missed. <laughs> but yeah, the Oracle... Knows it's not going to work, he's, he's adding yeah. a base. That, that, that's a huge delay. I mean, he'll never have a three-base economy. At most, what Revenge can hope for is a two-base economy, because the main is going to be mined out. He has to do damage with drops, and he's actually going to get this delayed as well by the Oracle. Mm -hmm. The Oracle's still being annoying. And there's a second Robo facility going down. The Oracle also seeking a drop, by the way. Uh, yeah, he did see the medevac, didn't it? Yep. Uh, Shaq already positioning his zealots and his high templar at the at the natural base. He's getting the robo facility number three. One of one of those have been killed off. Robotic base, more gateways. He's on top of these drops. Revenge probably is not going to achieve too much with them. No, he's not going to achieve anything with a drop in the main or the drop in the natural. He's going to lose both medevacs probably. Oh, that was not fed back though. Um, oh, he's storming his own probe. What? Yeah, there was a mine. He did kill off the mine though. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, I guess, I guess I would not want to be a probe in Shark's army. I mean, there's a mine. It's like Storm. The, the probes are pressing like the alarm button, the alarm button they have for when a mine drops in the mineral line. They're like, "Yep, the army's coming. Look, we're safe," and then they get stormed. Storm. Yeah. And Shark is and Shark is looking looking to push here, um, and he's got so much storm right now that he can actually make this many marines evaporate in the matter of a couple of seconds. But still, he does not want to fight in the open. He does not want to fight uphill, and he did see that army moving uh, towards him as he does have an observer over here. Another drop in the main base, the same one, but it's finally going to be taken care of, and. Revenge this, he has to do a lot of damage with this. Ooh. The pesky uh, oracle died, that's good. Yeah, finally. But plus two, plus three finished for shock right now. Plus nah, there, three armor, no plus way. two attack, there's no way. 
There's no way. I mean, uh, Revenge is doing a really good job uh, during this game of, of doing a little bit of damage here, doing a little bit of damage there. Some of the drops worked, some did not. But eventually he got behind in economy and behind in upgrades, and he's going to lose the game because of that, I feel like. Because Shark is even getting a fort base, uh, and he's getting Colossus now as well, and there's no Vikings on the field yet. There's mm. two. Two Vikings. That is true. We have three Vikings right now. But, you know, Shark is producing two Colossi at a time. He's going to be at six very, very quickly. Yeah, I mean, he's... He's, uh, he's trying to get back into this game. Um, well, for a long time, he was trying to finish Shaq off by uh, dropping on, on multiple fronts and destroying his economy. But now he's just trying to get back into this game, but it's going to be very hard. It's he funny how this Phoenix in the top right is just barely out of the range of the Widow Mine here to kill yeah, it I off. <laughs> it doesn't see the Widow Mine. It doesn't. Alright, looks like Revenge is supposed to take down the fourth base of Shark. The game has calmed down a little bit, both players just focusing on macro currently. Trying Shark's to... maxed out though. Yeah, he is maxed out already. I mean, you know, when you put, produce two Colossi at a time, you kind of max out really quickly. And he's at 11 Templar. He's gonna do a lot of damage with a, with a small run by on the fourth yep. base of Shark. He's gonna kill all the probes at least. Could kill the Nexus, I feel like. This, I mean, this has to feel so frustrating for Revenge, because he's killed 36 probes already. Yeah, and still, Shark is at 52 probes, 4 bases, 1 base up on the turn player. But it looks like he's starting to have some trouble. I mean, we have plus 2 weapons right now for uh, for the Terran infantry. And well, this drop uh, is taking a lot of time to be to be cleaned up. If Revenge were to get his upgrades and the Ghost, then he could still get back in it. But Shark is pushing, so I don't think it's gonna get to the point. But we have a huge attack at Shark's third, impending. As yeah. Shark is attacking right now, he doesn't have a mothership core it, with him. It's he, five Vikings against four Colossus. So the Colossus are oh the storms! Oh my Actually goodness! This is this is like my whole screen is going to blind me in a moment here. And yeah. Revenge is pulling back with the with his northern army. I think he's going to. Oh no, he's not. <laughs> Shark wins. Shark wins and wins quite convincingly. In that